welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to upload csv file here in salesforce let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in salesforce i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Uploading a CSV file into Salesforce can be done using various methods depending on what you are trying to achieve. One of the common ways to import CSV data into Salesforce is using the Data Import Wizard. Basically, it's a built-in tool that allows users to import data into Salesforce. Once you are logged in, I want you to hover to the gear icon settings in the upper right corner and click the Setup. Here in the quick find, I want you to type in data. And that would lead you to the data. Import wizard. You see? You can clean up your data import file. Make sure your field names matches the Salesforce field names. And of course, you can import your data in three easy steps. Okay, so prepare your data for import, choose data to import, edit field mapping, review, and start importing. All I have to do is click the launch wizard. Okay, so these are going to be the uh, first step. Now, you can choose a custom objects or standard objects. We're in for standard objects, you have accounts and contacts. You can add new records update existing records add new and update existing records if you want to add new records all you have to do is drag a csv file here to upload you have the csv outlook csv act csv and gmail csv i'm going to upload a csv now this is the us uh, csv that i'm working with here in google sheet what i'm going to do is click download and download a comma separated values and I'm, after downloading it i'm going to upload it in the data import wizard in salesforce now this is the file that i'm going to work with i'm going to click on next right so after that you see you have all the options to edit mapping right column one if you click that you can add an account name account type parent account billing street billing city so you have all of these options shipping employees description name last name you can hover field as much as you can i want you to click on next after doing so all i have to do is click the start import all right your import has started so this is one of the best ways for you to upload a csv file in salesforce now, again, another option is go again to the setup. Type in the uh, import option. There's going to be, you see, the basic data import. If you click that, all I have to do is make sure that this is enabled. Because when this is enabled, users select to import contacts or leads. There are shown options to use a CSV file or the data import wizard. All right. Now, if users are in Einstein activity, you see they can choose to sync contacts from their connected email or calendar account. Now, after doing all of this, you are going to be successful in uploading CSB file here in Salesforce. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.